welcome to Learning Mode. Today we are exploring fractions and we're really going to look at some really fun, practical, interactive ways of looking at fractions really, really visually and really deepening that understanding. Fractions can be quite difficult and they're quite an abstract concept for children to understand. So doing it really practically and visually is something that's really going to help them fully understand the concept. So I've got my trusty creative director, James, with me today and he's going to help us explore these different methods for using fractions. So the first one we're going to look at today is um, using paper plates. James is at the stage where he's probably beginning to think about halves and beginning to think about quarters. At this stage, he wouldn't be going much further. He's six, so he's in, um, in P3 or around the year two age. So um, we're going to look at something very simple, a nice little craft activity that you can do to help explore um, fractions. And all you'll need for this is a paper plate, um, some scissors and some colouring pencils, crayons, um, felt tips, whatever you want to do. So we're going to imagine, James, that this is our pizza. Okay, mm. so you're going to make a pizza. What colours are you going to use for your pizza? What's the background colour going to be? Maybe this colour? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to ask your child to create a pizza. It could be a cake, it could be whatever you want it to be, but I actually find pizzas work really well. So you're going to make your pizza, right? Make your pizza. So it's nice, fun, creative activity, um, and you can be as creative or um, do it as quickly as you like. So we're going to colour it all in and make it into a lovely, lovely pizza. Okay, will I help you with that? Okay. Oh, you want me to do it quickly for you? Yeah. Okay, so here's your pizza. Don't colour outside, that's going to be the crust. Oh, that's the crust. Is the crust going to be a different colour? Yeah. Right, so why don't you work on the crust then? Obviously, you'll let your child do this totally themselves because um, they will really enjoy this. I'm just doing it for the purpose of the video a little bit more quickly. What colour do you want for the crust? Brown. Brown, right, you do the crust then. Teamwork. So it's just a nice way of interacting with your child and enjoying doing a bit of art together. So you can join in. You can make your own pizza if you want as well. So I know everybody has their different flavours and different toppings. And James has instructed me that I'm not allowed to colour the outside because that's the crust. So here's our pizza. Okay, so as you can see, ours is very, very rough. You would obviously want to spend a wee bit more time doing this. All right, so what toppings are going to go on this pizza, mm, James? So pepperoni. here's our pizza. Pepperoni. Pepperoni, right, what colour you need for that? Red. Okay, get some pepperonis on there. Okay, get your pepperonis on there. Can you get some cheese while I do some cheese? Yeah. Okay, there's some wiggly bits of cheese. Yeah, right, you do your pepperonis. Mm. You getting hungry thinking about this? Yeah. Cheese is hard to do. Mm -hmm. Just do stewy wiggly lines. Okay, that'll be enough pepperonis now. You can do some more later on, yeah? Okay. Okay, so we... We've got our pizzas, we've got our pepperonis and our cheese and everything on there and it's a nice discussion to have. But now we're going to think about halves. James, we're going to think about sharing this pizza in half. What does half mean? Um, How many pieces usually? How many pizza pieces? About six or five. Okay, so immediately I can see that he doesn't know what the concept of half is. So it's brilliant and questions like that is exactly where you want to be. You want to be exploring to see where your child is in this journey. So okay so we're going to talk about half James. Okay? okay so if i share this pizza in half between you and me we get half each three half. pieces each three pieces each yes each. cut that i get this one this one and this one and you get this one this one and this one so as you can see, I totally misconstrued what he actually meant. He wanted to make his pizza into six pieces and then cut it in half and get three pieces each. So actually his understanding of half is way beyond what I thought. So it's amazing just actually having that discussion with your child and what can actually come out of that. So I'm gonna fold it in half. So I actually physically get your child to do this. So fold it in half. Okay. It's like a pizza fly trap. It's like a pizza fly trap and we're going to cut it in half, okay? And again, you can let your child do this. Uh, really good for those fine motor skills and those cutting skills. Right, James, so I have half and you have half. How many slices do you have? No, 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 think about what you've got in your hand. Three. 
No, you haven't got three. What have you got? One. one. And I've got one. Okay? Half is two pieces. Okay? I know what you're saying, that you're going to split it up more, but that's something else when, we call it, when we're talking about fractions. Okay? So half is two pieces. One piece for you, one piece for me. What's also important about half is it has to be equal. So would it be fair if I just chopped another bit off yours and give you the smaller piece? No. No. So talking about that with your children and making sure that they understand that half has to be equal. Okay, so I've got half and you've got half. Okay, now we're going to think about quarters. Mommy, these are different sizes. Oh, they're not exactly the same. So you have to be careful, don't you, that they're exactly the same. They're nearly exactly the same for today. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to think about quarters now. Quarters are four pieces of our pizza. If we break something up into quarters, it means four pieces. What do you think we could do with these to make them into four? Fold them again. Good boy, well done. And actually give your child that, um, that challenge to actually think about what they're going to do. So fold them again. And what happens? Do the four pieces need to be equal, do you think? Yes. Yes, they do. So I'm going to cut yours. You folded it for me and I'm going to cut it up. Okay. My question is for you, James. How do you know that four pieces make a whole pizza again? How could you do? What could you do? So actually get them to explore these different concepts, piece the pizza back together and really play with this really practically because immediately he's starting to understand that these four pieces come together to make one whole and that quarters break up into four pieces. And I actually do believe it takes children the ability to do this actually physically and really practically and be able to actually get this embedded in their minds. Okay, great. Now, do you think we could make our pizza into eighths? Now, we don't, you don't do eighths in P3, but what do you think eighths would mean? If I wanted to split my pizza into eighths, don't, eat, don't touch the pizza just yet. I know you're trying to eat that pizza there and get it into your tummy. What do you think I could do if I wanted to make it into eighths? What oh, do you think? Again. But what do you think eighths mean? It means four these and then cut them again and I'll make eight since four plus four is eight. Good boy, well done. So you're using your doubles. Good job. Okay, right. Fold it then. But it's quite hard to fold. Mm, it's quite hard. Well, so it's just more. Yeah. The more they get, the harder they fold. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I'll cut them and you fold them. Okay, so let's do teamwork. So again, he's really starting to use knowledge of the fact that he knows that four plus four is eight. He's really starting to put all that knowledge together. And that's exactly what you want to get for the, from these discussions with your child. You want to be able to see them making those relationships between different mathematical concepts. And he really is, which is great to see. Okay, right now. Oh, that one's not equal. Now look at this. Oh, one's yeah. got a small piece and one's got a, a big piece. What would you do to me if I put that on your dinner plate? You'd be saying, oh, mommy, Aaron's got a bigger piece than I have. But I can't fold well, Would you like some help? Way. I'll get you some help. Since it's already folded, it's quite hard. Uh, it's just a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, right. Now, here's my question for you. And this is why I love this activity. Because you can take it even into further concepts that maybe your child isn't exploring, <laughs> but this lends itself really well. So here are my eight slices of pizza, okay? okay. Right, so my question is, would you be able to get yourself three-eighths of the pizza. Yeah. Right, get yourself three-eighths. No, you will have more than me. Okay, I'm going to have more than you. Why? Because three plus three plus three isn't eight. Oh, so it won't be equal? Yeah. Okay, right. So Hi, I'm... boy. I'm not feeling very hungry. So I won't only want three-eighths. Could you give me three-eighths? So again, starting to explore that idea of an eighth being a piece, not being a whole, and actually starting to share that again. And again, James is starting to identify that actually three eighths is smaller than five eighths, which is great. Now, here's another question for you. What? Do you think you could put it back into quarters? Mm. How could you make a quarter, one quarter? By sticking them back again. Okay. Right, what's that? Quarters. Good boy. So again, fostering all those relationships. So he knows now that two eights can go together to make um, a quarter. And he's really starting to get that idea of equivalence, which is all that lovely richness that we want to talk about with fractions and all that lovely deep understanding. So how many quarters have we got? Four. So tell me this, what is bigger? 
one quarter or one eighth? One quarter. Why? Because one eighth is smaller because it's because you've cut it in half and you can and you can actually stick it back together without st something sticky. Good. And also that if that if this was smaller, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be you you you'll start you'll get this before you get that. Mm, yeah, exactly. So here's my other question: How many eighths? Do you think is the same as a half? That's a hard one, isn't it? Four. Let me see. Check. Check with your pieces. And again, you've got your actual pieces here that you can piece together to actually do that <laughs> double checking. One, two, three. Four. Okay, but I want to see my pizza. I want to see if it really is half the pizza. What could you do to show me half? Or here's another plate. You could put it on this plate. What do you think? You could show me half on my plate. So give me half a pizza, please. So again, you can use more plates to actually demonstrate this is your hole and putting your pizza on top. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Oh, well, let's see. Let's test out and see. Four, five. Right, now hold on. How many did you say was going to be? First of all, how many did you say was going to be half? Four. Is that half? Yeah. Yeah, it is. How would you make a whole pizza again? Add another four. Add another four. So really a lovely practical activity that allows you to explore equivalence, allows you to compare those different sizes of fractions and just you can use it really, really, really in lots of different ways. You might want to explore thirds and sixths, that's equally fine. You might want to explore fifths and tenths and you can with this which is actually really, really good. Um, you might obviously do need to do a little bit more measuring if you're going to do um, tenths and fifths and all of that. But again, it's just a really nice fun activity. It doesn't cost you anything to make and can be a lot of fun.